Welcome to part two of our four part series on becoming a licensed Medicare insurance agent. So step two is going to be all around Medicare certification. Now, if you're aggressive with this, you can get this done in a weekend, a few days. Uh, so we're going to assume that you have gone through and you've got your license, accidental health insurance license. You've been provided with your license number or your NPN, which is your national producer number. And now you are ready to go in and sit before another exam. Okay. And this is going to be Medicare certification and Medicare certification is required every year if you are going to sell Medicare health insurance. And what the process entails is several different modules, which we will go over. I complete mine through AHIP because I am an independent agent and we'll go over what that means in part three of this series. And so I do that because once I pass the exam in AHIP and the certification, I can then transfer that score to every one of the insurance carriers that I'm actually contracted for. Once you log into AHIP, and you'll have to create you an account. Uh, once you log into it, you're going to notice that there's five different modules that one has to complete. So I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look of what AHIP looks like. So what you're going to see on the screen are the five modules that make up the AHIP certification. After each one of the modules, there is a short quiz that you have to take and pass before you can move on to the next module. And then once you've completed all five modules, there is a final exam for which you have to pass in order for it to unlock the fraud, waste and abuse module. And then once you go through the fraud, waste and abuse and complete it, you're going to be issued a certification. So let's just go over real briefly what these five modules are. The first one is just an overview of the Medicare program. This is going to include your um, eligibility benefits and Medicare choices. Uh, this is the one that I struggle with sometimes and we'll see my scores uh, on the next screen. Module two is about Medicare health plans. So you'll learn more about um, Medicare health plans themselves. Uh, part three is all things related to Medicare Part D or prescription drug coverage. As a pharmacist, that's certainly my favorite section. And then modules four is going to be about marketing. So this is a highly regulated market. And so there's going to be some emphasis on marketing guidelines and the regulations and guidance on what you can and cannot do as an agent. And module five is all about enrollment guidance. So how do you actually enroll uh, members and what guidance is related to those? Now, this is the first year that AHIP has allowed existing agents to be able to skip the training portions for parts one, two, and three. And so we could go directly to the test. And if we pass those quizzes for modules one, two, and three, we could then advance on to module four. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, and so I did not study and I did not go through the training. I, so I wanted to see how good I can do without going through the training. Now, so I am going to go back through the training and here's the reason why. I always like to be able to be refreshed um, on any of the material. And also, as much as I do know about Medicare, there's a lot of things that I don't know about Medicare, as you can see on the screen. So when I took module one's review, I scored an 80%, module two, a 95%, and module three, I scored a 90%. Okay, and you can see it took me about 15 minutes for module one, about 11 minutes for module two and about 13 minutes for module three. Okay. So not bad. There are 20 questions. And, um, so I did pass all three of the uh, modules. And so now I'm working on module four. Unsure about becoming an agent you need this ebook and mini course. Our ebook and mini course will help you be a better agent. Learn from the best, avoid costly mistakes and get ahead of the competition. Plus, join our exclusive live webinars with Q&A for all your Medicare questions. Don't wait. Grab your bundle now and use the discount code in the video description. Your future as a top Medicare agent starts here. Now, the cost in order for you to get certified through AHIP is $175, but I will tell you that most insurance carriers offer you about $50 off, so it'll cost you about $125. And if you are a new agent and if you work through a broker, they may also offer you a discount um, and maybe giving you $50 off. So that is another option. We will talk about how you should actually go about getting contracted in part three of this series. But just know if you go through a broker or you go directly through the insurance carriers, they will sometimes give you a $50 discount on a hip. You get a max of three attempts, usually per carrier, um, to pass. And if you don't pass Medicare certification through AHIP within three tries, some carriers will not allow you to sell their products. 
Now remember there were five modules and you got 50 questions across all five modules that make up the final exam and you have to have a score of 90% in order for you to pass. So what that means is if there's only 50 questions and you need 90% to pass, you can only miss five questions, okay? So it is not a lot of room for error. Uh, so I would encourage when you do get ready to take the test uh, for a hip that you are fresh, uh, that you have gone through all the trainings, that you have done everything to be prepared and that you are prepared to go ahead and take the exam and because you don't have a lot of room to miss a lot of questions. So, all right, so that's how AHIP certification works. So that is the end of this video. This is all about part two, which is being Medicare certified. And remember, once you become an agent, and if you want to continue to sell Medicare insurance, you have to go through this recertification process every single year, okay? And I do mine through AHIP because with AHIP, it is a standard program. I can transfer all my scores to each and every one of the carriers that I actually sell for. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got a lot out of it. If you are ready and you want to go ahead and see part three on contracting, I encourage you to go ahead and do so. Or maybe you want to go ahead and get registered for AHIP. But remember, you have to get licensed first. You have to have your application approved. You have to have your national producer number in order for you to be able to log in to AHIP because you're going to use your NPN or national producer number in AHIP in order to register and create a profile to do the TWI certification or certification if you're going to be a new agent. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Please drop it in the comment section below and we will be sure to take care of it.